Hello YouTube, welcome to today's presentation. We have been on a series which is very very important on how you can use the one motor, one motor to design or to power or to run two generator system and we have last position we did a very important uh, adequate explanation on how this system works and I also show demonstration on it the way you can go ahead and design when I thank you for the comment I received and also the contribution of one we that by my subscriber Today I'm going to continue the same process but a little advanced from what we discussed last content. As you can see in the table of content now, we are looking at what is 3 in 1 free energy generator system, what materials needed for the system, the connection of the system and testing. Now, when I say what is 3 in 1, what is 3 in 1 energy system? 3 in 1 energy system is a process in which you use one motor to power or to run 3 different generator sets. Now, if you look at this diagram or this demonstration, you will see there are 3 generator here, 1, 2 and 3. And in this three now, we have 30 kilowatts, 30 kilowatts, 30 kilowatts. And the data of these 30 kilowatts, we have 90 in all, which is 19. Now, what is the, the, the motor? We have just one motor. Now, this is a clear demonstration of how you can uh, produce a 10, 90 kilowatts assisting using one motor. This is very uncommon in most aspects. It's very uncommon but we decided to bring this to you so that you can have a better knowledge on how you can do this. It's a very simple method just like the one we did last time using two generators this time we are using 3 generator. So this is the, the process. Now, if what materials do they have for the system? Now, as you can see, there are different materials here. This is the, the generator. As you can see, we have 3 generator here. A socket, a testing bulb, the, the bed, this is the bed, and then it's the flyways. This bed now, is one that link the three generator together and then we have here a base this is a base where the generator is mount so these are the materials you will need if you want to design this kind of energy system now the next question is uh, the connection of the system the connection of the system, as you can see, is very, very simple and it's very, very easy. First of all, you mount the first generator, which is this one and this one, because it is this, this is the mother generator, this is the mother system, this is the, the main generator. You mount this one and screw it into the, the base, which is the, the weight carrier. Now, as you can see, there is a rod here, there's a rod here, and this is a joint. You can also put a fly, a mini flyway on this middle. Now, when this is properly screwed and tightened, then you can now add additional generator on top of this uh, first one. 
And what you should do is you must align it to the rectory. You must align it to be in good position so that the bed can be able to run the stereo of them at the same time. And then add as a third one, which is what you're saying now, to the, to the generator. And then the pen now will now be fastened to join the three generator using a, a mini flyway. There is this one called mini flyway. It's mini flyway. They are all mini ones. Then the three, the three, the, the pair will now be combined to run the three mini flyway. This is the simplest. Then in the area of the connection, which is the output system, you have to join the three cables together. Now, as you can see, you have one here. This is one terminal. We have the second terminal. We have a third terminal. These three cables run together to the socket where the light now is being distributed to the sharing for it. For, for, for this purpose, we're talking about the testing area. But in other area, you can run it to your house. So this is where the three cables run now. As you can see, the, this is the first terminal, second terminal. So when the generator starts producing light here, start running, the first generator will release its voltage and run it to the second one. And the second one will release to the third one. And the third one and bring all the voltage that are here down to the socket where it's not distributed. So that is not then in this area now, which is the motor aspect, the motor has its own feedback, which is the turn around of the socket. It is when we plug the wall, and when the voltage is in enter, we cannot have the feedback here. So that's we have the feedback coming out from this system. So this is one of the things we we we, we, we have. It's one of the, the benefits we have when we are designing this kind of system. Then this new tool is now take out from the terminal supply here. This is where we have the terminal supply out. First, the voltage enter to this point, to this point. Motor. Sorry, the three generators are rotating at the same time, and the voltage is less. Now the next one is the talk about the connection of the system. Now let's see the testing. The system now. As you now understand the, the three process, how it's been produced, how it's been combined, mounting the first uh, motor and the first generator, and then the rod is joined together, you join the two rods together, and then add the, the additional motor uh, generator, and add the third one. Then you have a terminal output here, which combines the three, which is the first output, second output, and top output. The three of them are being combined using a good uh, uh, cable, good cable system, which is the cable here, the red and black, positive negative cable, then send the voltage out to the output, which is the test known area. Now let's go ahead and give a, a look of how this process works because many times people don't. <music>
ね。